Uh, Warren asked for a little bit of time to talk about Klondike Derby. I think that's a good idea. We probably have some questions for him. And if we don't have any questions, he'll answer it anyway, right? He'll have answers for us. Warren, are you with John and Jeff? Okay. This is Warren Bond. He's heading up our Klondike Derby. As you all know, John Unger is on the committee and Jeff Purcell is on the committee. So. <clears throat> Two heads that I don't know. Who's it's like the three Jack Marshall. <laughs> Jack Marshall. Jack Marshall. He's not getting <laughs> yeah, so. Jack Marshall. <laughs> Go to town. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna pass this out. Now, this has uh, what I have late uh, as of today for the uh, the cabins and where I'm planning on putting the events. So um, take a look at that. See if you. Uh, like where I put your event, um, and what, what I, on this one only, what I'd like you to do is uh, check that you saw it, because I, uh, I'll be number is on there. Yeah, actually. And, uh, and I'll be notifying the other the troops that don't check, and uh, you know, we'll talk to them about that. Do you uh, there's some. Um, I'm gonna also Warren, pass this. Warren, Warren. Mike had a question. Do you want to just list our troop number on the bottom then? Page or circle or something on that map? Put your check troop next to it. Just, just check it out. Check it out. Okay. Yeah, just check it out. Yeah. I'm gonna, also going to pass this out. This is uh, the tentative schedule of events. And there's one, there's one small um, opening here, and it's for a short dinner prayer. So uh, if your troop wants to do that, uh, just sign up over here. It, it's marked to be announced or to be determined. This also, this is just for your information if you want to take a look at it. That, that's uh, all the information we have as of now. And I do have um, the, the event selections, but there's only three left here. So I'll pass these out. Uh, two, four, and 12 are still open. What are those? Oh, four sticks, trans, uh, transverse the thicket with your hunting party. And horse ball. But you know, I also have from last year, I have the list of events too. You know, if you, if you don't like any of those, this, this is fine too. In other words, make one up on your own if you want, eh? <coughs> dinner prayer or a dinner or a religious service? What was it? Just a dinner, dinner prayer. prayer. Sorry. Just a dinner, dinner prayer. Yeah, just a dinner prayer. Dinner prayer, okay. Yeah. 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 You would like to get those last three events filled up uh, tonight. And these maps and all this will be updated after tonight and will be handed out at the event. So we just want to make sure everything's right and you're familiar with it. For a race, uh, we're, we're gonna, the, there's going to be a scout that's going to be in this, uh, riding in the sled. And the scouts will be switched at the fourth, the second and the fourth station for juniors, and the second and the seventh station, which is the one out at Lewinsky, <coughs> for the seniors. And we're just, we're still discussing what to do in case there's no snow. Hopefully, we won't have to make that decision. You know, you know whether we have scouts in the sled or not. Yeah. <coughs> Uh, bring some wheels uh, for your sled, and if there's not so snow, watch the weather. If, there's, if the snow melts by then, uh, you might want to put wheels, and then we'll address the, uh, putting a, a boy in there as your your package to carry. Um, obviously, if there's no snow and we got to have wheels, that'd be kind of hard on the sleds having having a boy in there. Uh, and we'll we'll have another plan. So, again. Um, we're relying on the boys' uh, trustworthiness um, as far as changing at the second and fourth stations. Um, the senior division is going to change at the second station, do the third station, and then go all the way out to Lazinski and change out there, come back and do the fifth and sixth stations. They better be in shape. <coughs> they better be in shape. Yep. Yeah, I just had a thought. You don't have to do anything about this. But if, you, if we don't have snow, and this is Native American theme, Maybe the troops could make a travois or something like that, you know, which was uh, they lash a couple poles together, make a triangle, and maybe put a little net or something in between, a couple ropes across, and carry somebody on it that way, which is how they carry gear and supplies and things like that. Mm -hmm. That's all. Yeah. 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 
outside of a sled. Yeah, right. Don't use sleds. You have to build a driveway. Right. I know our troop has a lot of matching okay. poles. You're saying that kids are going to switch at those stations. Are they going to have three different kids in the sled then? Over the course. Correct. Yeah. Over the course. You can't have yes. like the one that was in the first time right. go back in the third time. Okay, three different. Three different scouts. And that's why I said we're a lot, we're counting on their trustworthiness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Heavier, yeah. medium, lighter at the end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the big kids get me. <laughs> and next year it was brought up that we should put a uh, scoutmaster from another troop in one of the boys' sleds. <laughs> we don't know how that's going to play. <laughs> Uh, we'll take uh, down. Yeah, you guys need that. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is the advantage or disadvantage of having a scout in the sled? Um, just, is waiting. Yeah, we, we usually had them put um, cargo or some type of cargo in there. We've always put logs in there. Each boy would have to take a log or something and so, lash it down. There's only, so, so if everybody had a, a hundred pound scout in there mm -hmm. yeah. for all three scouts. Or if everybody had a zero pound scout in there, it'd be the same. Uh, right? Sure. So you, you, I've never seen a zero pound scout. But I'm just saying, no, <laughs> no scout or a hundred pound scout. So they're. It's just working together. Okay. Putting a guy in there, mm -hmm. you know, one guy, whether it's a weed blower, whether it's a medium scout, a big scout, just working together as a team. You know? I, I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking way off. Who, is it, everybody has to have a scout. That, why should everybody have? Don't have to have a scout. It's the same. It would be the same for changing it up. You know, a lot of times we're giving them a box with an egg. Yeah. You know, or they have wood. Just something changing it up. Just, just to have something in the yeah. sled. Yeah. Make it meaningful. Is your are your sleds big enough for? Uh, no, 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 never mind. No, I'm no, not getting my point across. Okay. No, I know you are. Are. you are. And I, I understand that. Um, one more question, are you recommending like bicycle helmets or something in case that flips over? I think I've only seen two bicycle helmets in there, crash helmets in the whole time I've been doing it, but if they want to. You're recommending a price helmet? I wouldn't. No. Uh, either way. Don't require a good idea though? Yeah, a good idea wouldn't require a. Mm -hmm. So you're going to send an email out to everybody want more before the event? They'll get, yeah, they'll get this stuff. That's probably the way to do it. Throw that note in. Just for, if you want to worry about safety, Steve put it on. the position of the council. I think it would be a good idea if they had it. If you have a bicycle helmet, I would have a So keep that in mind if you uh, if you have one, I guess, bring one out. You have to go around a tree and it's like, hold it right there. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, I'm kind of more worried yeah. about the boys actually yeah. holding the sled, running into branches and, <laughs> and everything else. Yeah. Good question. Good question. Good question. Good question. Well, uh, I'm, going, I'm going to put this on the email for everybody that uh, I have. <coughs> this is uh, for um, John Fletcher and Tim Seiple. They're running, uh, it, it was the Indian attire station, but now um, it's, it's changed a little bit. It's, um, it's going to be North American Indian totems. Mm -hmm. And I'll, I'll send this email out. Uh, each scout in a patrol should be prepared with the following. Find out what Native American Indian totems are and what they symbolize. As a patrol, be able to tell what you've learned in your own words. Pick two totems and tell what meanings uh, Native Americans have, uh, have given to them. Each scout in the patrol would identify two totems and give the meaning Native American Indians give to each. Please do not duplicate. Uh, pick a totem, no, this is the third one, pick a totem that you identify with. Each scout is to pick their own personal totem. Each scout will tell why they chose the totem. Now this, this one is going to be just skill only. It won't be scout spirit or uh, teamwork. So it's kind of like an extra station. And uh, you know, you get, uh, instead of, as an example, 10 stations with 10 skills, 
felt spirit and teamwork. We have uh, 11 for skill, 10 for scout spirit, and 10 for teamwork. Hopefully, I get another cross. Can I ask a quick question? So each scout has to have two totems in his mind? And, each scout and if you have a, a, a patrol of 12 scouts, that means you have to have 24 unique totems? Are there such things? Is there that many? You don't have to go online and look, John. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. Easy. Yeah, if you get six scouts, that's two piece, right? Yeah, if you have 12 scouts. Is anybody familiar with totems? Anybody here at all familiar with totems? But I'm not going to give it away. <laughs> Are there 24? So if you had a patrol of 12, you, you can find a unique one? Oh. You go to wood bash, John. Right? Yeah. How many wood bash totems? Eight. Okay. You, you got the sense then? We don't send me out. So, you think there are 24? How okay. many animals are there in the universe, Jeff? <laughs> <laughs> We're talking North American natives, so, okay, got it. So, it, it shouldn't be an issue then, that's all I'm asking. Yeah. Somebody thought this out and said, sure, if a patrol has 12 kids, there are plenty of totems out there to choose from. Okay, probably, good. You probably have 20 kids instead of Okay, them. good. That's all I wanted to know. Well, it might, I'm not sure how they're going to use scoring, but I would think that if, uh, you, you had six scouts and only four had, <coughs> right. then, then it would be uh, a certain percent or something. Yeah. yeah. Good. Yeah, and we'll try and accommodate the weevils. I know the weevils may come out and not mm -hmm. have done this. So we'll try and accommodate them and help them along. So. Okay. All right. Any other questions? Sir? Are you going to speak to how the check in process is going to go for the night? Smoothly. Well, let's, let's talk about how it's going to be smooth. How the check-in's going to go. Oh. Camp counselor is uh, Steve out there? Yeah, uh, he, he's Major. going to be out there. Oh, uh, it says on in that form going around with the schedule of events, and it was uh, you have to have so many uh, rosters. Four. For it was two it's four. Oh, it <coughs> says four if you read it. Is that four? It, it says four. four. We usually only had two, so. Oh, well, the paper said four. Yeah. And to uh, let me, let me put them between copy. juniors and seniors. Two extra copies if you don't have to. <coughs> you can show that right now. There is a copy. Let, let me find out about that, and uh, I'll, along with this, I'll tell everybody what that is. Yeah. The new ranger out there wants to be at registration when you get there. So you'll check in in the normal place, that main building. Warren and I will be there as well. I mean, recall from the fall camp where there was an emphasis to equip check-in and get people right out to the site. So I'm just curious at how, if it's going to be some of the same or if there's anything yeah. different. We'll try to get you out there as quick as we can. Okay. Usually, even with the uh, slow check-in, it's not that well, that didn't that even that apply that slow. <laughs> and keep in mind, um, it'll be in the emails. You do a cracker barrel in your cabins that night. Uh, breakfast and dinner will be in the mess hall on Saturday, and you provide your own lunch in your cabins. Um, keep the lunches simple um, so they can get done in that allotted.